What is up, YouTube? Another grabs video. I shouldn't say grabs because that's Game Hunters R Us stuff, but whatever. I got some stuff, and this is probably up there with probably one of the best weeks or two weeks of game stuff that I've actually ever gotten. Um, it's pretty insane what I picked up. A lot of stuff on sale, a lot of limited stuff, a lot of uh, rare, rare stuff, I guess that could be a pun in a way. Um, uh, so yeah, I have a stuff from YouTuber, um, some online purchases, some EB game stuff, some knockoff stuff, like, there's a bunch of stuff, so, uh, anyways, let's just hop right into this thing. So first off, this is not in any particular order, this is basically just from, like, running through stuff from, like, interesting to most interesting, I guess you could say. Um, first thing I picked up was actually today, when, uh, the day I recorded this, I picked up another, uh, DualShock 4 controller. Uh, Best Buy had these on sale for 50 bucks, so I figured I'd grab them. Uh, they didn't have any like the limited edition one, like the Black Ops 3 one was on sale, but like the black, the blue, the white, the red, regular colors were on sale. So uh, this is the only one I didn't have, um, aside from I don't have the limited edition like gray controller, uh, which I probably at this point won't get unless one breaks. Um, but I have black, blue, white, and now red, so I have all the colors that I'm really interested in. Uh, so that's awesome. Always watch. I actually haven't paid full price for any of my PS4 controllers, thankfully, I got them all on sale. Uh, that being said, that is still $200 in controllers that I bought, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, next up, I picked up, um, this game off of, uh, online, I found a really good deal. And I actually bought extras, because, you know, trade baits and stuff, right? So, uh, first is, uh, the Mother 3 fan translation on the Game Boy Advance. Um, I found, again, really cheap copies online. Uh, so I basically bought a bunch. I bought two more for like trades. So I have three total. Oh gosh, three. Uh, so what I'm keeping two at trades at some point. I'm sure people will be interested in that. Uh, so yeah, really happy to get those for cheap. They took forever to get here though. Um, next, <laughs> this was actually probably what started the whole thing. Um, I've really been wanting to get uh, Back to the Future for PS3, the uh, the Telltale games. Uh, game and I could not find it. It basically went from like Kind of popular to like instantly hard to find uh, the same thing happened with Jurassic Park on the Xbox 360 No one cared about the game and then suddenly it was gone and now prices are shot up. So Anyways, I've been looking for it couldn't find it. I was like whatever. I was just waiting to get some uh, Some credit into my PayPal account selling some stuff on eBay and finally got enough money So I just bought a copy so <clears throat> Got it for the uh, PS3 I had to switch out the case, the one that came with was kind of in bad shape, so luckily I had a spare sitting around, which I don't normally, but uh, anyways, managed to get that. And then I was on Amazon for another reason that I'll get to in shortly, and I realized that it got re-released for the PS4, so I bought it for the PS4, and this was the same price as the PS3 one, so, and it was brand new. Uh, my plan was to keep this one sealed, um, just to see if it went up in price, and I would just play the PS3 one. But when I got it, the disc was like loose inside, so I was like, whatever, screw it, I opened it up. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know, I'll probably uh, keep this one and then sell off the PS3 one, or I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll just keep both? I don't know, what would you do? Uh, I've, I've heard this one may have some glitches in it, the, the PS3 one didn't, which I don't really understand. I don't know, I gotta do, gotta do some more research into that, so. Um, but the real reason I was on Amazon was because, and this was a, this is a, uh, a screw you EB Games, screw you GameStop story. Oh, super frustrated, um, I did post a blurb of this on Facebook, on one of my Facebook groups. Um, I had ordered this game on EB Games Online, I had, I had seen it on, uh, a few YouTubers, um, YouTube channels. I was like, man, I really want to get this, and I really want to get it in physical form, so I went on EB Games, they had it on sale online, but not in stores, so I was like, alright, screw it, bought it online, I got an, uh, an order confirmation email, I got things saying, thank you for your purchase, blah 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 blah, uh, we'll let you know when it, when it leaves the warehouse. So, I waited for two months, and didn't hear anything, I didn't get anything, I was getting really frustrated, um, trying to get a hold of customer service was... A chore in itself. I uh, ended up going into one of the stores and getting like the employee customer service number to call. Um, got that, got in, 
gave my order number or whatever, it tracked it, and basically was just given the excuse that, oh, well, our distributor decided they're not going to give us this game, so we don't have it anymore, so you're not going to get it. Sorry. Like, that's it. That's all I got. Uh, I was like, okay, uh, I guess that's fine, but uh, I checked, and they thankfully didn't charge my credit card for it. I would have been really pissed if they did that. Um, then... <clears throat> I, I basically was just like, well, well, why the hell didn't you tell me? Like, it's you have automated emails for this kind of thing. Why can't you just have an email that says, hey, sorry, we don't care this game anymore. Otherwise, I'm like, I'm just sitting at home waiting for this game to show up. I'm not like, that's not all I'm waiting for. But I'm just saying, I'm waiting for this game to show up. It doesn't show up and I'm getting pissed. I'm like, what, what the hell? Um, so yeah, anyways, I, I basically chewed her out a little bit on the on customer service line. Not in a really mean way, but basically just venting my frustration that if you're not gonna, if you're gonna stop providing a game or stop, uh, you know, selling a game in general, you should probably let people know, especially people who ordered it online. And there, and she basically gave me the fluff off answer of, oh well, yeah, I'll let my my online sales team know that this is a change that we should put in place. Blah blah, blah whatever. You're not gonna do anything. Whatever. I, it made me feel better. So whatever. Uh, anyways, that game, long story short, is uh, Brothers on the PS4. Um, so I basically just immediately went on Amazon right after that and just bought it on Amazon, and it showed up in like three days. Um, and it was easily said, easily done. So, yeah, uh, I know a lot of people have issues with Amazon pre-orders and stuff like that. I personally haven't had any issues with that. I've had pre-orders and stuff with Amazon. They've all showed up, like, within one day of launch, I guess, which is fine. Um... And it saves me having to go out and try to find a physical copy and whatever and fight through lines and stuff. It just shows up my house maybe a day late, whatever, not a big deal. Um, so yeah, I've heard really good things about this game. I really wanted to get it in physical form, so I finally did. Um, and while I was on there, I found, that's when I saw uh, Back to the Future was on PS4, so I bought that as well. And these were all cheap, they're all like 25 bucks, so whatever, I bought them. Uh, the other one I found, and I haven't heard anybody talking about this game, but it looks awesome is uh, the Book of Unwritten Tales 2 uh, on PS4. It's basically like one of those old school point and click adventure games. Uh, puzzles, it's hard, it is um, funny, there's a lot of pop culture references in it. Um, I've heard the humor is great. So, Anyways, I don't know if I'm ever going to get around to playing this game, but it looks friggin sweet and I can't wait to play it at some point in my life when I have time to do so. But yeah, Book of Unwritten, T Unwritten Tales 2. Check out some reviews, see if it's something you're interested in. I, I don't know, I wouldn't say I, rec I recommend it personally, but the reviews got me interested enough to actually purchase it, and I got, like I said, it was only like 25 bucks, so whatever. Next, I was going to EB Games to pick up a game for a friend, and uh, when I was in there, I actually saw that they had this game sitting there, and it was uh, only 10 bucks, and I believe it goes for like 15 bucks everywhere else, so I picked, figured I'd just grab it, and I've heard so many good things. It's one of the must-have games on the Vita, and that is Freedom Wars. I've heard several people talk about this game. It looks great. Um, I haven't put any time into it yet. And it just seems like that's all I say is, I haven't played this game. I haven't played this game. But whatever. I'm going to get there at some point. This game looks sweet. Um, I'm hopefully going to... I, I want to hook up with some friends online and actually play it. I heard it's better, like, co-op multiplayer uh, than playing by yourself. So hopefully other people have this game. If you have it, hit me up in the comments and uh, maybe we can try to get together and play this game at some point um but yeah it does look really sweet so check it out uh check your eb games they have it for like 10 bucks to use so grab it next i went to uh eb games again to pick up a game for myself uh and everyone's been talking about this game and basically it is shovel knight on wii u i've heard nothing but good things about this game i'm so glad i held out for a physical release i've I was contemplating getting it on digital and then i heard rumors that it was going to be physical so i was like i'll just wait i'll just wait i'll just wait Thankfully, I did. Um, I haven't opened this yet, but I will play it probably tonight, actually. Um, it comes with a soundtrack, um, which I I was debating between getting this one, the 3DS, or the PS4 version. Um, but I asked a bunch of people online, and they said, you know, why not get it on the Wii U? So I definitely agreed with them. There's just something that feels right about playing, like, 8-bit platformers on a Nintendo console, uh, to me. Um, if this had come out on the Vita, I'd get it on the Vita and the Wii U. That would have been my choice. Um, I'm still contemplating getting it on the 3DS, just so I can play it on the go. Uh, but I'm going to give this one a shot first and see if I love it as much to get a second copy of it. So, uh, really happy to grab that. Um, while I was there, I saw that uh, my EB Games had a, two copies of this game. I had it loose at home, so I figured, you know what? Ugh. 
I, I really want the case and manual just to complete it, so I bought it again full price. I think it was like $30 for this game. Um, and that's Zelda Spirit Tracks. Um, so I had this loose at my at home here. Um, so I bought this, I came home, put my loose copy up on eBay and sold it for like $40. So I guess I came out ahead uh, to get a loose copy to an upgrade to a full copy or a complete copy and a couple extra bucks on the side. So uh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. All right, next, I did a transaction with CJR actually. Of all people, um, I saw an ad posted on GG and I was like, oh, I kind of want that game. Sent him an offer, I got an email back saying, yeah, here's my address, come and get it as soon as you can. And I was like, I, I sort of recognized the address, I'm like, I bet you that's CJR. I, without a doubt, I'm pretty sure that's him. So I showed up, sure enough, I was at CJR's house and I went in, I was just like, oh man, this is so funny. So, um, he actually took me upstairs into his, uh, into a room with like a whole bunch of games that he has for sale that he's trying to get rid of. And just basically said, you know, look through and see, see if there's anything else you want. So, um... But anyway, the first game that I saw was uh, Super Metroid um, for Super Nintendo, obviously. Uh, CJR hooked me up with a great deal on it. Um, well, he took my offer on it, basically, which I'm, I really appreciate. It's one of those games that I just never thought I'd ever get in my collection. Um, I did have to pay, you know, not retail, but um, more than thrift, obviously. But still, it's still a really good deal. So, really happy to get that. Hopefully, at some point, I will get around to it. I had it on the Wii U, and I was playing it on there. Uh, but I feel I might go back and play it on this just because it's more original uh he also threw in some stuff um i told him about a, a mod project i'm doing i'm trying to put a um game boy advance sp ags 101 screen into the original game boy advance like the sideways one just because i prefer that the ergonomics of that one more than the sp i find the sp really cramped for me um but yeah i i have two game boy advances that i'm trying to do that with um and I just need another SP, so he basically gave this to me. It's the uh, the Disney Princess version of the uh, Game Boy Advance SP, uh, which is awesome. He just threw that into the deal, so hopefully I can grab the screen out of that and um, put it into my other Game Boy Advance. This, I hate having to cannibalize parts, so I'll only really pull screens out of consoles that are like jacked up. Like this is really scratched and covered in stickers and basically not worth anything than the screen so um, unfortunately I'm having a lot of trouble getting the wiring right for Game Boy Advances and trying to get the ribbon cable over I've gone through two ribbon cables from eBay trying to do the conversion because the, the contact points on them are so cheap so I've been trying to find an alternative um, I haven't been too successful in that yet but if you have any suggestions hit me up in the comments or if you've done them before or are willing to maybe do it for me, hit me up in the comments or send me a message. I'm sure we can work out a trade or compensation if uh, if you wouldn't if you want to do that for me as well. Much appreciated. And I know CJR is looking for one as well. Uh, he would probably prefer that mod. As well. He's looking for the mod to happen. Anyways, I don't know how to say that. Um, and he also gave me a case for Yoshi's Island DS so I could complete my Yoshi's Island DS cart. Uh, so huge thank you to CJR. Much thanks, uh, headed it your way, uh, definitely hooked me up, so really, really appreciate it. Uh, he's a great guy, I don't really need to give him a shout out because he's got, you know, 37,000 subscribers. Um, me and my lowly 115, yeah, there's, I, I don't think I'm going to send much his way, so, but anyways, huge thank you, thank, it really means a lot that you'd, uh, you'd hook me up on the deals, uh, so yeah, moving on. Next, I had stuff show up in the mail that I've been waiting for for a long time. I heard about this um, online and just waited for the, the release to happen. So it finally happened. I went out and I uh, grabbed it. In hindsight, I should have grabbed two, but uh, I didn't because I'm not greedy like that. <laughs> so anyways, it was uh, $25 uh, plus shipping totally worth it. This is going to be up there with probably one of my more rare games that I'll have in my collection. Uh, and it's actually sparked an internal conflict in me because now I don't know if I actually want to open this game. I might just leave it sealed. Uh, I'll probably just leave it se sealed for now anyways because I'm not going to get to it anytime soon. Uh, but anyways, that game is Breach and Clear for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, this is from Limited Run Games. Um, there's only 1,500 copies that were released. I managed to snag one. 
Uh, so yes, super uncommon, super rare. I can use rare with this because there's only 1,500 of them. Uh, but you can buy this game on PSN for like, I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that. Um, I've heard it's a decent game, the gameplay looks interesting, so if I ever get around to opening it, then I probably will enjoy it, it did look a lot of fun, so. But thankfully that showed up, um, and there will be a new release for another game in a month or so-ish. So, but yeah. This next package that showed up, uh, just showed up today as well, there's been, like, a lot of stuff showed up today. Um, this is something that I ordered way back, I think it was in July? I, June or July I ordered this. I pre-ordered it. Um, it was limited to, again, I think 1,500 copies worldwide. So I snagged them, uh, and they are vinyl, so I don't really collect vinyl. Uh, I actually don't have a record player yet. I had an old one that broke, so I'm in the process of trying to find a new one, but I'm doing more research into like brand names, quality, sound quality, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing way more research than that rather than just going to the thrift store and buying one for 10 bucks. So anyways, Vinyl and games together in one happy package. Um, anyway, so this is the soundtrack for Perfect Dark. Um, looks really sweet. Uh, I'm really happy with the quality, the fit and finish on this. Um, these weren't cheap by any stretch. Um, I guess they were kind of, but the shipping was almost as much as, as buying the records themselves. So that kind of. I don't want to say offset the deal, but, um, so yeah, this is pretty sweet, uh, this is a two disc, or two LP album, um, back and stuff you can see there, one, two, three, four, four sides, two discs, I'm gonna say discs, because I don't know what else to say, uh, two records, that looks pretty sweet, uh, the next one is, this actually has probably one of my favorite soundtracks in a video game, uh, and that's Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, that one looks really sweet too. Uh, again, two discs, two LPs, I don't know why I say discs, uh, but yeah, really, really sweet. And there's the back, looks really cool. I'm sorry for the glare, lighting is such an issue. Uh, but yeah, it does look really cool. And then my one of my favorite games of all time actually is uh, Battletoads, so picked up a Battletoads record. Uh, this is only one disc, two sides. This is only one LP, two sides, and it does look really sweet. I am very, very happy with these. Um, yeah, I can't, I don't know what to say. I, I can't wait to actually get a record player to listen to them at some point, hopefully soon. Um, anyways, that is it. Thank you very much for sticking around and watching it. Hit me up in the comments if you want to play Freedom Wars, uh, or if you're any good at modifying Game Boy Advances. Much appreciated, especially for tips and tricks. Need all the help I can get. Also, we stream every Wednesday, 8 p.m. We just did Goof Troop and Axley on the Super Nintendo. Uh, we beat Goof Troop, Axley kicked our ass, and we ended up cheating our way through that game. So, yeah, that's how we do things. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.